first race of the season is go. They're rolling in Valencia, and it's a good start from Liam Hazemans. It's Hazemans that leads then towards the first corner. Went up against as Gorelli getting past Giorgio Maggi. So Gorelli has managed to make a move there. And now Giorgio Maggi under threat as well from the 64 and from Sebastian Blakemolen. So Giorgio Maggi loses out to Lasserre and Blakemolen as well. And well, while the party's going, Anthony Kumpen says, mind if I come? Kumpen around the outside at turn four. So Goosens has made a position and Giorgio Maggi also loses out to Frederic Gavion. So Giorgio Maggi has dropped from 4th to 10th in about three laps. Try and hold off Siortis, who's got a good run towards turn two. Nose to the inside, but can't quite get it done. In this last lap, it's just started to feel a little more likely, hasn't it? We've seen Siortis get a little bit closer. It's going to be Siortis, though, on the inside into the first corner. Surely this man, Liam Hazemans, we started calling him Hollywood Hazemans last year after he took the Euronascar 2 title in dramatic fashion. And it's a blockbuster beginning to his career in Euronascar Pro. Wheeling Euro Series, Euro NASCAR Pro, round number two, race number two of the weekend for these drivers. It gets underway now. The lights have gone out and it's a good start from Gianmarco Ercoli. Ercoli with the early lead then. Hazelman's not able to repeat his feat from yesterday. Side by side for second place. Siortis up to second, spin further back in the pack. The 65 car involved in that, as is the 88. Christoph Menz ends up going into the gravel as well. The 88 of Max Lanza also stuck there at turn one, but he's under a lot of pressure from Siortis, who now has been afforded the inside line into turn two, and surely Siortis is going to get through here. Although Lacerre is going to try and hold the pace, use the runoff around the outside of turn two. The kink at three, of course, then opens up to a right-hand bend at turn four, and that should favor Lucas Lacerre. It does. Oh, there goes Siortis. We just saw him dive to the inside, but once again, Lasserre tries to hold him off, goes deep into the corner, and I think that's the opportunity Vladimir Siortis needed. Yes, it is. He's got the whole car ahead. He's in two. No, uh, I think the toe from Ercoli has actually brought Hazemans into a move for the lead, and sure enough, Hazemans dives up the inside. They're side by side out of turn two. Oh, Hazemans onto the gravel. Contact between Ercoli and Hazemans, and has Ercoli got damage? It looked like that car was sitting down wrong, and Hazemans has damage. He's gone off. Hazemans is into the gravel. He has got a puncture. Ercoli does have a puncture. And he can't quite get it done. Siortis, though, taps into a spin. Siortis is around. Vittorio Garelli loses out in all of that as well. Second place then for Mark Goodson. And they're going to win once more in 2023. It's Lucas Lasserre that sees the checkered flag first. A victory for Lucas. Second place then for Martin Zubek. Racing for the first time, it's Gianmarco Ercoli on the inside of the front row. He should surely lead into the first corner, but Liam Hazemans tries to go around the outside of him. Vittorio Gorelli and Anthony Kumpen still side by side. It 
race, the final lap of the race. And it is the 72 car in second place. But can Liam Hazemans reclaim the second place in which he started? This is his best opportunity. Druid's Bend. He can't do it there. He went to the inside, then to the outside. He takes a wide berth to try and straighten the exit of the corner. Here comes our race winner, though. Gianmarco Ercoli heads the line. He takes the first win of the 10th running. And we are racing. It's Gianmarco Ercoli and Vittorio Garelli side by side as they approach the first corner. Liam Hazeman's in third place. They're trying to get to the inside of Vittorio Garelli, but no. Anthony Kumpen in fourth position. Oh, and an off there for the number 94 car. That was uh, Alina Leubnegger having an issue there. Oh, and that's Leo Lanza. That's at Paddock Hill Bend. Now getting a replay, and oh yeah, that was every bit the incident that I thought it might be, unfortunately. Very high up Paddock Hill. Gianmarco Ercoli, he takes the win. It's two wins from two at American Speed Fest 10 for Gianmarco Ercoli. Marco Ercoli has to be the favourite with the home crowd behind him. But can he hold the lead for 18 laps here at Vallelunga? We find out now as we go racing. It's Ercoli versus Gorelli on the run down to the first corner. And Gianmarco Ercoli leads the way. Tobias Dauenhauer moves up into second place there by the looks of it. It was side by side between Dauenhauer and Gorelli. Oh, but no, Gorelli has somehow just about held on to second place around the outside at Curva Grande. A couple of cars have had damage. Thomas Tafel is also running around with his bonnet up over the roof and uh, oh dear the 27 car has had an incident as well as we can see I'm getting a replay now look like that Inez did that all on his own unfortunately look at Tobias Downhower though he's under pressure from Ulis Del So who dives to the inside in fact no my apologies that's the 64 of Lucas Lasser. Tobias Downhower tries to go around the outside of Lucas Lasser. Downhower Trying to find the grip. We've seen Hazemans do this run around the outside, but a collision between the two. Downhauer gets unsettled by a collision between himself and Lucas Lasser, and he drops down to seventh. He then tags Vladimir Ossiorsis. That 14 begins with Gianmarco Ercoli still there in the lead. Vittorio Garelli, though, unlike the first, re uh, first portion of this race, since the restart has been able to shadow Ercoli every inch of the way. However, he's right there on the back of Gianmarco Ercoli now. And surely this could be an opportunity. He dives to the inside going into turn eight. He's on the grass. He's on the sausage curb. Oh, and Gorelli with a snap there at turn four under braking. I think Gianmarco Ercoli takes his third victory in three races. Here in front of his home fans in Rome, Paul Jeffro takes second ahead of Liam Hazeman.
Yeah. Let's go. We just gotta go hard. Uh. I go the hardest. I bring the pain. Not what she used to. It's all part of the game. Yeah. I just gotta go. In your NASCAR Pro, the race begins, and it is Paul Jim Pro who goes to the middle. That could be dangerous because Jimmy Ercole has the inside line heading into the first corner, first proper corner, Curva Grande. Gianmarco Ercoli is in second place. Third and fourth, oh, off the circuit there, has gone one of the Speedhouse cars. That was Lucas Lasser. He's pushed uh, Liam Hazemans out. Everyone checks up. Darren Hauer with Giorgio Maggi on his inside there. Two drivers in the Junior Trophy. Darren Hauer, oh, contact there, goodness me. And Fabrizio Armetta is in the gravel. Trying to work out where that is on the circuit. Vittorio Garelli leading the way and into second has got Paul Pro. But Paul Pro has moved up to P2. I think he might have done that at the hairpin while I was um, scrabbling with my notes. It's side by side between the two. Armetta, or rather I should say Dupro and Ercoli. Ercoli on the inside in the 54. He does a big lunge to the inside. And does he get it stopped? Not quite. But he still knows ahead. No, bouncing over the sausage curves isn't going to help him. Anthony Kumpen with a better drive out of the corner. And Lasser dives again to the fourth position. And this time he gets the car stopped. And he's there side by side with Anthony Kumpen. And Kumpen quite obviously lifted out of the throttle there. Around the final corner comes the number 72 car, Vittorio Garelli. Comes around the Roma bend, turn 14 for the final time, and he takes a lights to flag victory. Nearas makes no difference.